Here you oh. are. So we can reenact that. Uh, I just got out of the room, and for like three hours, I was watching you signing autographs. That was, a, that was the longest stint I've ever done. That was and I was super impressed by you because you gave everybody a time and a smile and a little yeah, bit of conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was very beautiful. Yeah. Are you prepared to do this for the next fifty years, fifty-two years I of your life? I think so. By that time, I'll probably have a, a bionic arm or something like a mechanical arm. Right, right. Yeah. Well, what has been like coming into the franchise and meeting the fans? I mean, if it wasn't for the fans, you know, we, we wouldn't have a show. So mm-hmm. we, you, you just got to, you know, give them the respect, what they deserve, and give them what they, you know, what they want, which mm-hmm. is to come and meet the people who are in their TV show. Well, we super appreciate that. <laughs> um, going into Star Trek Discovery, I was expecting social science fiction in the spirit of Gene Roddenberry. What I was surprised about was, especially with your character, how it spoke to trauma and trauma recovery, PTSD, mm-hmm. um, you know, what was it like for you to play that character? Where were you coming from, from a research point of view? Well, I wasn't expecting to, for a character for it to go that, you know. Oh, really? I, didn't, I didn't know it was going to go that far. You know, when I first got the job, the first few weeks, I'm like, well, how deep is it going to go? How dark is it going to go? And it was unexpected, you know, because it's, it's so complicated, because it, it was PTSD, but then it was just more trauma, and then it was more the psychology of it. Oh. was very complex. And so for an actor, it was amazing. But yeah, I had to do... I had to dig deep. I had to dig deep. You know, I'm not going to blow my own trumpet, but I had to go, I had to go some places. I had to go. Yeah, I mean, it was very... I mean, you have scenes there that are really, truly disturbing, and I was not expecting that from a Star Trek show. Yeah, yeah. And they were very successful. So <laughs> good, they, good. Um, now, that journey, you know, you, there was that period where it's like, oh, is he Volk? Is he not Volk? Who's Ash Tyler? From the outside, it, you know, what was it like seeing the conversation around that particular yeah, duality? I, yeah, I couldn't say anything for about a year, so it was. There was even a fake actor name, you know. Yeah, which was my dad's dad's name. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, it was fun to watch people get so excited before it even come out. So mm-hmm. that was, you know, it created a sense of hype, I guess, which was good because people want to see how it played sure. out. And, um, was there I, yeah. any anxiety around that? No, because I knew, I knew, I, I knew where the story was going to end up, and I. It was such an interesting art that I thought, how can you not? As I, you know, if I was watching, I'd be like, this is great. But, um, yeah, I try not to think about the anxiety. I can't, you know, if I can't, you can't please everyone. So it's like, sure. you just have to let, let it play out. And your character, probably more than any other character over the course of that season, has the greatest turnaround. And you're going into season two. I know you can't talk too much about spoilers, but emotionally, what can we expect from Ash well, Tyler? Yeah, the first one was about, you know, it was chaos for my mm-hmm. character. It was this complete transformation change and this one's more about the repercussions and the balancing it, trying to trying to balance out his position with Starfleet trying to balance out his position with the Klingons trying to balance out his intimate relationships with Morel with, uh, with, with Burnham he's got to sort all of that so that it's just the it's the aftermath and for you as an actor is there a particular relationship with the character that you can't wait for that day like you can't wait for the Burnham day or the Laurel day I, I can always I love because I'm so lucky I get to play with both of them that I love the difference of their relationship the difference is I get to have two romantic relationships on screen no matter how strange they are but they, they're still romantic relationships in essence um, I love doing all of it because I get to see both worlds so it's, it's great and now we're going into season two and they just announced today that there's going to be another Star Trek with Captain Jean-Luc Picard well, Jean-Luc. What's, your, what's your reaction to that? Well, I was signing while he came on stage and I just stopped signing and someone was like you know dude can you carry on signing I was like but he was, <laughs> I mean it's amazing yeah, to have him but he's one of the great you know great stage actors one of the great actors he's it's John Luke, man. He's back. <laughs> yeah, and and I am super excited about that. But I sometimes, part of me is like, I don't want to take any of the fame from what Discovery's doing. True, true. Well, if they can either find a way to link, but I, I suppose any of it brings heat on all of it. So you know, it's bringing heat back on deep space. It, it, mm. Whatever the version is, it's always going to bring heat to everything. I think mm-hmm. just the world. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right. Okay. Well, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> uh, final uh, question. Um, so going in again into season two, you're off in the Klingon homeworld, or you're hanging with the Chancellor now. Um, are, do you feel like Ash is going to lean heavier into the back into the Klingon point of view? I th- well, I think at the start he is because he's been away with them. He's he's had some stuff to sort out. Um, but inevitably he's going to have to try and see what's up on the other side. Mm-hmm. So he's, it's going to be a bit of a... Yeah. yeah. 
and uh, I expect we're going to have a, as much of a, a turnaround for your character as we did in the first season. Yeah, in a sense, it's going to be yeah. There's more. There's more stuff to come. It's, it's yeah. different. It's I'm different. anticipating the reunion with uh, Michael Burnham for sure. <laughs> good, so, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess. I guess that's uh, all, all for it. Thank you, Sir Jacques Chazaz. Thank you. Man. I appreciate it. Thank you.